All right, um, I've been working on my project here on my little board. Now I kind of got inspiration for this board uh, with uh, this that I saw on eBay. And uh, I finally received it in the mail today. Um, so we can measure this and see what's, see what's going on with this. Now it is uh, basically uh, attenuators on a stick. Uh, there's a zero dB attenuator, a upside down, a zero, a 10, a 20, and a 30. Um, and so let's go over to the DNA and measure this and see how, see how it turns out. Now I'm, I'm curious about also, instead of just looking at uh, S21, I'm interested in S11 on this because uh, this is a full thickness PC board. Remember I made mine thin so I could control the impedance and have small traces. Now this uses a full thickness PC board and uses really wide traces and wide spaces. So we'll see how their uh, how their uh, calculation did uh, compared to mine. So let's move over to the uh, let's move over to the DNA and make some measurements. Okay, so uh, it's kind of hot in the garage today, so I definitely want to calibrate this, this thing again. Uh, let's set the number of points. Let's go to uh, Cal uh, Cal Kit. We'll do a reflection measurement. Uh, one port. Okay, let's cal for the through. We'll do a transmission measurement. And calibrate that. All right, so we have a full calibrate and let's put in the uh, let's put in the uh, test board we'll do 0 DB let's see what the insertion loss is and it looks pretty flat and looks pretty good. Let's uh, scale it to one. So it's a little bit bumpy, uh, but within a dB. Got some little bumps in the middle there at uh, 600 megahertz, but we don't really care about that. Let's go ahead and change the scale back to 10. And we'll measure the First attenuator, which is uh, 10 dB. Oh man. Get up my rent. Oh, shoot. A wrench. Very nice. Looks like 10 dB to me. All right. Let's try the 20. Of course, this is using just standard components. So and there's no heat sink, so the uh, wattage capability of this attenuator is going to be very, very low. Uh, quarter watt at best. There's 20 dB, very flat, very nice, okay. And then we'll try 30 dB.
So these types of attenuators are very easy to design. These are uh, two pi sections. So there's a... Uh... Oh, there we go. 30 dB looks just great. Now what I'm really curious about is let's go back to the original 0 dB, which is just a transmission line. Now let's see if they were able to do a 50 ohm transmission line or not. Uh, let's see, I don't want to connect that one. I'm going to measure S, S11 and I'm going to uh, put a 50 ohm load on the other side. And so we'll just have a transmission line and a 50 ohm load and everything should look great. All right, let's measure the reflection. And uh, doesn't look that great. It's only minus, it's only minus 10 at uh, 1.3 gigahertz. So let's do a Smith chart. Oops, Smith. Oh dear, look at that. That is terrible. <laughs> That's terrible, Muriel. Okay. Uh, scale. Yeah, let's zoom in on that. Oh my goodness. Let me uh, change the uh, scale factor here to a 50M Smith chart. There we go. Uh, let's see. Oops. 50. We'll go back here to scale. Oh my goodness. 70. Oh man, this is bad. Let's see. Marker. It's going all the way to 92 ohms over here. So, yeah, that's not good at all. That is not, that is not a transmission line. All right, we're back from the VNA. Um, so this is what I was measuring. I was just going through the transmission line with a 50 ohm load on the other side. So I was measuring S, S11 uh, this way. And uh, we noticed that, yeah, this is not a 50 ohm transmission line. So uh, what I did was I measured these uh, distances and stuff. It's about a two, two millimeter wide trace and about a two and a quarter millimeter wide space. And then it has a standard thickness PC board, which is 1.6 millimeters. And if I type all of those, uh, and F FR4 dielectric, if I type all of those numbers into a calculator, I get 62 ohms for this transmission line. So whoever designed this uh, either didn't know how to do the calculations uh, or didn't care. Um, yeah, or they wanted a 62 ohm line. I, it doesn't make any sense to me. But anyway, I think they just put in something that looked decent and they didn't know how to do the calculation. They didn't ha know how to run a calculator or, you know, it's a, ca it's a CAD program. So anyway, uh, yeah, mine are much better, and they're going to get better, better -er. -er. Um, I have uh, changed the uh, w values and stuff on my board, and I'm I'm doing a second a second revision, and my second revision will be completely gold plated. So uh, those should be in the mail.